everybody, Tyler here with Boost Chunky Media, and today we are talking about the turbocharged Fox body. Um, when I first got this car, uh, I didn't really have a name for it. It's kind of become uh, Jacqueline, is what I was thinking, and because of the Key and Peel skit, that has kind of become Jay Quellen. Uh, so we, we go with Jay Quellen, or sometimes I just call her uh, JQ as well, kind of short for Jay Quellen. Um, so that is kind of the name of the car. So, what this video is about is I've got some footage of uh, me and this car at the track, and we've, I've got the footage I'm going to play. I'm not sure if I've already played it before this, or if I'm going to play some after, or maybe a little bit of both. But we're basically going to talk about the car, um, what it's done so far. I do have uh, some time slips, so I'm going to put some time slips up. Um, yeah, so, so let's just kind of jump right into it. So. To date, uh, today is what, April 14th or whatever. So to date, the car has gone at best of 895 at 151 miles per hour. It's 151 and some change. Um, and I will say that on that particular day, that was at Virginia Motorsports Park in Richmond, Virginia. And I will say on that particular day, the wind was pretty strong. Uh, we had probably like a 15, 20 mile an hour at least headwind. Uh, at the track that day, so it was uh, like I said, 8.95 at 151. That was in a little bit of a headwind. There were some other cars that were there. Uh, my buddy Josh from Underground Garage, his car, he had his car there, and it seems like the people were down, you know, two or three miles an hour from where they typically are on that day. So that leads me to believe that that was probably due to the headwind. So uh, I think, you know, I think 153, uh, if not for the headwind, would have been Definitely doable that day, but the big news was the 895. Um, my goal with this car when I got it was minimal effort was to go eights, which we did. Um, granted, not deep into the eights, 895, barely, barely scratching the surface of the eights, but I will say the car does have a little bit more in it. Um, on that pass, that was only a 1.302 60 foot. Uh, that was definitely not everything the car has on the 60. Uh, that was leaving on about 6.5 pounds of boost on the trans brake at about 3,200 RPM. I definitely think it's got some more in it on the leave. Uh, we could probably bring in, bring that boost up to about 10 pounds on the leave and maybe bump the limiter up a little bit if we have to to get to the 10 PSI. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll have to do that, but if we, if we do, we will. So if we can get the car to leave on like 10 pounds, um, I think it's going to easily go 125, 60 foot, maybe like 120, maybe low 120s, maybe 123, um, which for anybody out there who's a, you know, an avid drag racer, the 60 foot is the most part of the, the important part of the track. Generally the way it works is for every 10th in the 60 that you can cut off, it's worth about a 10th and a half to almost two tenths on the big end so that's why the 60 foot is so critical so if I can if I can cut out 500 so if I can go from a, a 1.30 to a 1.25 that is five hundredths of a second that's probably gonna be pretty close to a tenth on the big end in ET which is huge so that right there instantly takes me from an 895 to an 885 that's that tenth um, plus like I said, the headwind was there that day, so if, if I can get a couple more mile an hour out of it as it sits with the you know six and a half pounds on the leave and all that, if I can get a little bit more out of it there, that's like an eight, you know, maybe low 880, 882, 883, something like that. And that's as the car sits right now, six and a half pounds on the leave, uh, 16 pounds down track. Like I said, we can turn up a little bit more on the leave. We can, you know, we could pick up uh, some more ET, I think. So ultimately, I think at the end of the day, I think an 870 something is possible. Um, I'm not sure 870 watt, I'm not sure if you know 875 or maybe more like an 877 or 878, something like that. But I think it's definitely got an 870 in it. Um, we'll see if we can if we can get a little bit more mile an hour out of it on the big end. Um, as far as boost goes, uh, right now the, the car is limited by the size of the turbo that's on it. It's only an on three seventy six seventy five, so it's a fairly small turbo. So I think we're pretty close to being out of steam on the turbo. 
which that kind of sucks because that means basically the turbo has to be redone, which means pretty much the turbo kit has to be redone. The hot side has to be redone, more than likely the cold side has to be redone. So we, we get to that point, we'll, you know, we'll address that. But I, I think as far as making power down track, you know, short of doing a, a nitrous kit or something on it, I think we're, we're pretty close to being tapped on, on power. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. You know, the car for all intents and purposes really works phenomenal. It, uh, it goes down the track every time. I've only had it spin on me like really one time. That was at Northeast Dragway down in Hertford, North Carolina. And on that pass, I was right after a front wheel drive car and the front wheel drive car drug water all the way down the track pretty much because that's what front wheel drive cars do because the, the physics of it make you no know, sense to me why you would drag race a front wheel drive car, but people do it. So I unfortunately um, was right behind one. He drug water down the track with his rear tires and I had to go through it. I mean, I have to go down the track and the car literally launched and about five feet out when it got into where the water was, it just spun the tires. That is literally out of the, whatever I've made now, eight, nine, 10 passes in the car, that's the only time it's ever just ignited the tires. Every other time it's just, it's just stuck it and went. Um, the car is, you'll see in some of the videos, it's, it's very well mannered, it's very well, you know, it's very controllable. Um, the braking on it is actually very good. You know, 151, yeah, it's not, it's not crazy, crazy fast, but it's also not slow. And you know, 151 to get to get it shut down at BMP at least, no issues at all. BMP is a, a fairly long track, you know, a shorter track. You may be a little more hard pressed, but uh, the car really performs well in all ways, and you know, all power braking everything. Um, so I really don't think that that's going to be a concern. Uh, it does need basically a parachute since we're at the 150 mile an hour point. Uh, that is the typically the standard for a parachute So we are going to be working on that coming up and also we're gonna try to lighten the car up a little bit There's some things I can do to it. The bumper support can come out. That's like 50 60 pounds um, Plus I got to put the parachute on anyway So I, I think the bumper support will be a little bit heavier than re-adding the parachute stuff back in So hopefully we'll lose you know 30 or 40 pounds there um, I could, if I need to, I could always take out the passenger seat while we're racing. Although the, the seats in the car really aren't that heavy, so I don't know if that's that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at with the car. So we're going to keep at it. Um, I'm trying to get to the track as much as I can. We have a track rental coming up uh, May 13th up at Maryland International Raceway. It's a Friday that I'm part of. I've already Put my deposit in or put my money in so i will be there with that to see if we can't you know go do the 870 number that i talked about um yeah that's that's really about it um no more no more crazy updates i can just say that i'm i'm loving the car i'm loving the holly it's everything that i thought it would be i plan to do maybe some videos on the holly coming up you know as far as data logging and how how fairly easy it is to read everything um but loving it it's everything i thought it would be you know being able to tune your own car and not having to send off to a a, a tuner you know like you do on the newer car stuff you have to do a log send it to the tuner wait for him to send you a file back it's kind of a pain it's nice to be able to just do it everything yourself because Everything's fairly intuitive and works really well um, from a user perspective to tune your own car. Um, so that's amazing. So yeah, guys, love in the car. There's gonna be more content to come. Um, we'll address the turbo kit as we need to. That's coming down the road, but we're gonna see what we can't do with it. You know, the way it sits right now, just with adding some more boost and stuff on the launch, see what we can whittle it down to, and we'll go from there. Um, hopefully you like the, the videos that I put in here about the car, you know, the, the footage of the different racing, in car, outside the car, that kind of stuff. There's going to be more to come. I plan to do a lot of footage at the track rental that's coming up in just about a month. So stay tuned for that. And if there's any more updates that, you know, happen before then, uh, I'll, I'll try to make a video on it, but I don't think there's going to be anything too crazy. 
Maybe if I end up doing the parachute mount before that and the bumper support, which I'm going to try to at least do the bumper support, I'll try to record that. So with that being said, guys, give me a subscribe, hit the uh, like button on the video, and leave me some comments if you want on the content, what you guys want to see, any thoughts on the builds of the cars or anything like that. And yeah, guys, keep it boosted.